Mike Watson. Hello, everybody. Um, I hope that some of you might know what Kendo is. Um, we have a uh, club member up here, um, and he has some little flyers. We don't have a ton of them, about 25 or so. But if you would like to get one, uh, raise your hand, and he can try to get to you. So, Triangle Kendo and Iido has been um, in existence for about uh, 14, 15 years. And um, we have operate dojos at UNC Chapel Hill and also in um, North Raleigh, um, off of Six Forks Road. Uh, we have a website. Uh, it's printed on the um, flyer, but it's easy to Google. If you just try, if you just Google Triangle Kendo, um, our website will come up, and it has full information on our practices and uh, things that we do, and a little bit of information about Kendo and things like that. Um, right now, our members are putting on their bogu, that's the protective armor that they wear. Um, you'll see um, it consists of basically a uniform, uh, pleated um, pants that are called hakama, um, the uh, top, the kendogi, and then the protective armor, a tare for groin protection, the do for the chest, torso. You'll see them putting on um, the gloves, those are called kote. And uh, the helmet uh, is called a min, okay? That protects the head, of course. I mean, I guess you can. Uh, when we come out here, we're going to first show you some legal strike areas in Kendo. So you can't just hit anybody anywhere in Kendo. What we're looking for is we're looking for a perfect strike that is met, uh, struck with intention of striking that particular area. So we're going to show you the, uh, the, the four legal strike areas um, in Kendo. Um, the first one is going to be a min, um, that is a strike to the head. The second one will be Kote, that is a strike to the right wrist typically. Um, and uh, the third one will be a doe strike, a strike to the torso. And the last one, uh, I'm not sure if every pair is going to do, but uh, it will be a ski strike. And that's a strike to the throat. And that's the um, area that is protected on the throat there. Okay, so let's go ahead. This is going to be men strikes to start off with. Kendo is typically done on a wooden floor. It's very um, unusual for us to be on uh, grass with uneven footing and things like that. So uh, the footwork won't be quite as pretty as it is on the uh, normal floor. Hitting now Cote strike, strike to the wrist. You can see the kendo can be done by um, uh, both genders, by all ages of participants. <laughs> the last thing will be the ski strike, strike to the throat. The ski strike is a little bit more um, um, higher level and so we the beginners typically don't do it too much. So next we're going to do um, something that is um, both part of the promotional exams at the at the below black belt levels, the Q levels. Um, and it's also a, uh, a integral part of pretty much every kendo practice I've ever been to. Uh, this is called um, Kiri Kayashi. It is a repeated hitting drill in a straight line. And uh, you'll see what I mean in just a minute.
So just for your information, in an actual Kindle match, um, if someone falls over like that, it is completely legal to hit them immediately as they fall. Um, in a shorter period of time, the shimpan, the referee, who raise their flags and stop play. But until they do, it's still legal. And if you can hit them before they can move, it's, it's a point for you. Okay, let's rotate. So, 